let's do this and let's do it right. So, hey, uh, my name is Joseph Dana Rodriguez and I created this animated short film called The Archway Man. So I'm just gonna kind of talk about it right now, talk about the story behind what it is. How did I come up with this idea? It's a short film uh, about a father and daughter that are on a journey and they come across this creature called the Archway Man. But the thing that started this whole thing for me was the idea of the poem itself popped into my head one day while I was, and I don't even remember what I was doing, I was watching something unrelated completely but then that name popped into my head the archway man and then like the cadence and the rhythm to how he said this poem you know And I, and I wrote that down first. I wrote it down super quick, uh, which was crazy. And like, it, it almost felt like all the lyrics and stuff were were there, they were ready to go. Um, it was just a matter of kind of tweaking bits and pieces of word here or word there for it to make some form of sense. Even though at the end of it, like, I don't know what it means, uh, to be honest. It's, it's, a, it's a mystery even to me. And I think that's kind of the fun in it. I, I thought of the poem and then I was like, who is saying this? What kind of person would be saying this? And I, you know, the archway man, the, the cadence to it, I envisioned immediately this creature, this, this ancient being, this entity that really was the focal point of the narrative for me is, is like, he was the main character. I knew that from the get go, but the, the thing was I couldn't tell whatever I wanted to tell with just him by himself. I knew that as a character he needed to be introduced and he needed to be alive in a world that pre-existed. It was cool to just from that idea branch out and, and carve the world around that one specific character. And so, you know, I thought about who's who's talking to him or who's who's encountering him on his journey. And so I had the idea of this father and daughter duo, which I thought was you know, pretty cute. Um, and so I, I, I started sketching ideas for what they would look like, she and her dad, and, and the world that they lived in. And as I continued to sketch, and I, I came up with designs from cultures and media that I enjoy. Uh, a lot of it was like South American, very like Mesoamerican, very Aztec in theme. Uh, that's what I was going for. And, and, and so a lot of it was, once I was designing it, it's like, who are these people? And, and where are they from and, and what are they doing kind of a thing. It, it was all, it was fun to be thinking of those, those thoughts and those ideas as I was designing it and, and it really was informing how I was designing these characters. You know, um, as I was doing, I was like, I don't see them as a warring kind of culture system. They're not warriors. They're, this is like, they're, they're philosophical knowledge they they have customs and traditions that are that are old and that are ancient and so this thing of the dad and the daughter they're like going on a journey um you know that that kind of was like okay well then maybe that's the start of the story is we just jump in right as they're on the middle of this journey and and maybe this journey is something that every kid in this village and this tribe and this culture does you know it's like a rite of passage um to growing up i always enjoy those elements and stories uh, so that was the that was the first part. Uh, once I had all those ideas down, I I wrote it down. I made it a script, uh, and it was real short. I didn't want it to take too long for what the idea is. Like I I didn't want to blow it out and and make it too long of a story. I was like, this needs to just be something real quick and small, but that gets the point across, that sets the mood, that can show, of course, what I can do with my animation, but really that is is just a small piece of a puzzle, a much larger puzzle. If I ever wanted to expand into something, it could be done. Once I did that, I had the voice for the little girl. I, I got in contact with her once I had written the script. And the big part to me after that was, okay, who's gonna voice the Archway Man? This is the main character. I got in contact with an amazing friend of mine, awesome dude, Q Griffin. 
I do voice acting, but I also do stunt coordination, fight choreography. I also do 3D animation as well as VFX. I have my own content coming out here pretty soon on my channel, Griffin Wing Studio. Check it out. In doing the Archway Man, uh, I got the rhyme first. Joseph sent me the rhyme, and so I had this rhyme just going in my head, and all you know, with all of these different possibilities that it could actually be when I finally nailed it down to about five <laughs> that I liked. I am the archway man. I rend the earth of flesh and sand. And sent them to Joseph and he told me which one he liked the best and that's the one we went with. He knocked it out of the ballpark with this. I mean, I just, I love the performance he gave to the character. It was cool to see that each voice that he did felt like a different character. It felt like its own entity. It breathed life into this design and that was fun. Hollowed bones like blood red wine. So when I was coming up with the voice, I, I did a thing that I've done since I was a kid where I will stand in the mirror and like recite the lines and all of that kind of stuff in various different kinds of voices, accents, and dialects. I rend the earth of flesh and sand can't help but to laugh at yourself, so you can't really take yourself all that seriously uh, when you're doing voices uh, so much is because you sometimes you are gonna laugh. The thing about this role though, seriously, uh, that I found the most enjoyable was how kind of cool and creepy, you know, the Archway Man really is. I mean, he's this colossus, petrified being and he you know his entrance is so grand it's like this giant boom foot that comes into the scene and so it's really it was really cool to try to embody that uh, voicing the father was really cool too because i got to do an accent and i love doing accents as i'm sure you figured out already Khatana, you must hurry we're almost through I just kind of studied a lot of Middle Eastern accents as well as various dialects. I wanted to still sound everlasting, if that makes sense. An ancient being from times long forgotten. Like blood red wine. But yeah, that's that's the archway man. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Follow me because I make more content and I love to tell stories. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, whatever you're, or night, you know, it could be where you're watching this. But uh, have fun and I will see you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching.